Hey, welcome to another of Rennie's mystery box challenges. Oh, hey. In case you don't know what that is, that's when Rennie send us a box full of a mystery ingredient. We then ask you guys what we should do with that and cook up something amazing with the stuff that you've told us. <laughs> it's nice that we give him something to do, isn't it? It is. Good day out for him. Well, well. Up, up, well done, up, 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 up. There you go. Good job. What are we ready? Is in it. Are we steady? Oh, what the? What a nice. Colourful. Ta-da. Are they shot? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. The reeds are pretty shot? blunt. This is really weird. I didn't know what one of those was until about a week ago. Really? Somebody uploaded a photo of this to the Sorted app. Really? No and said, look what I just found, and I didn't know what it was, and I Googled it, so I James, do now know what, what this what is. What is it, James? But I didn't a week ago. It is, uh, well, it's got a few names. It's a Kiwano. Or, or a horny melon. Horned melon. A horn. horn. <laughs> <laughs> They're slightly different. I things. knew it as a horny melon. <laughs> it is a horny melon. Can we cut it into is. it? Yeah, have a look. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, I look so angry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we, we seriously need your help here because yeah. oh, no none idea of us have any idea what to do. Get your phone out, get your phone out, send a tweet. Ask tweet. people. This is awesome. Right, send. Excellent. I'm well up for this one. It turns out, like us, many of you don't know what a horned melon is, and a lot of you said it was difficult to incorporate into a recipe. However, the best suggestions have led us to a horned melon panna cotta cup. And it is both exotic and tropical and delicious. Right. Starting with a panna cotta, double cream into a pan. We're going to infuse it with a few flavours, uh, one of which is sugar to sweeten it. The other is the zest of half a lemon. And then we're going to take some of the horned melon seed juice and put that into. And to set our panna cotta, we need gelatin. This is gonna be a really light mix, so just one single leaf, because we're only making enough for four halves, mm -hmm. two portions of panna cotta. So we just need to soak it in cold water. We can do it. And leave it to one side. You can do it if you like. Do you want to do half of it? I'm, I'm done. Do half of it, that's it, perfect. Leave that to soak. Now the thing is, there are, the flavors in this are very delicate, mainly because it's quite a light fruit, this isn't it? The flavors are delicate also in this. Yeah. it's part of the melon and cucumber family. So in flavour wise, it's quite watery. The melon and cucumber in the same family? No, they, they have a similar texture. They have both. Sunday lunch together every now and again. <laughs> but yeah, it's a mixed it's race family. <laughs> the most striking thing is when you cut into it, because this is where you get the wow factor. Poisonous. So what we need to do is scoop out all the seeds with that green jelly-like mixture, the seeds of one melon into the sieve, and we're going to get rid of the seeds and just use the juice, the seeds of the other melon into a bowl for later on. I know you're scooping it out, but you know what you could have done? Go on. You could have waited until it got really ripe, because it actually bursts and all the seeds come out of the middle. Yeah. Which I find really interesting. I'd love to see a video of that. I've not. Is there a video of that on the have, internet? Do you reckon you have to leave a sh one hell of a time lapse to wait for the point at which yeah. it's really, really ripe? Yeah. And I bet when it bursts, it just goes. And for our panna cottas to set, obviously you can use a ramekin or a dario mold, just like a traditional one, mm. and when it's set, dip it in hot water and turn it out. Why or, be boring? Why, if you've got something as beautiful as that, why don't you Make use it? Make the most of it, it's mental. So we've scooped all the flesh out, just get some kitchen roll and just sort of dry them out a little bit. Do you want the swamp water in your panna cotta? The swamp water, aka horned melon juice, can go into the infused cream with the lemon and the sugar. And then you can squeeze out the leaf of gelatin to get rid of any excess liquid and put that into. And then as soon as the gelatin is dissolved and equally combined, depending on how steady your hand is, either pour it straight into the fruit. I'll do this bit. Or into okay, a jug to make life easier. And this should just fill our cups amazing. about three quarters of the way up. Mm -hmm. We want to leave room on top because the seeds are going to go back on and almost hide the panna cotta that's inside of it. So it's like a hidden treasure within. And then these need to go into a fridge for several hours to chill and set up. In the meantime, we can take some berries, blackberries and raspberries, and blitz them both up one at a time with a squeeze of the lemon juice, which we previously zested. As soon as your panna cottas have set, you can do the finishing touches and serve it up. We're gonna put the green jelly-like seeds back on top. And over here, we've got our raspberry and blackberry coulis, which are going to make even more alien-like than our fruit is. This is the arty bit. And then these sit just on top. That is out of this world. I'll tell you what, I'm going to rest it against that one. They're delicate, these. 
We love cooking up with unusual ingredients. This is really unusual to us, but we'd love to see what you think might be unusual for us as well. So upload any photos of any dishes you ever make ever using ingredients you think we might not have seen before to sortedfood.com. And if you want to actually make this, then the full recipe is in the link down below. Because that is our horned melon panna cotta cup. Sorted. Sorted. Make sure you get a bit of cream and a bit of seed. Oh, that is delicious. Delicate, simple flavours. Yep. Go a long way. You didn't have to do much at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't. Very simple. Well, boys, that was spectacular. Yep. It really was. Well done. <laughs> you can't yourself. I can. Well, thank you. Thank you.